and today I'm going to share with you a sew along for these wide leg trousers or pants and it's simplicity number 8389. Now we're going to be making version B today but should you wish to sew along with us just go right ahead but stop at the appropriate points where the pattern changes. So if you need to add any additional details just stop at these points. What we're going to be using today is this Minerva exclusive range viscose chalice and this particular design is called abstract marbling. So loads of wonderful colours in this print so I think this will go with absolutely anything in your wardrobe. So any tops that you might want to wear with these trousers, everything will go with this. So it's going to be a fabulous make. Now, should you wish to sew along with me today, everything you require will be linked in a bundle below. So all you have to do is follow that link and you'll have everything you need. So you will receive the simplicity pattern the viscose chalice, a matching thread, some elastic and some interfacing. So just click on that link and you're ready to begin. Now before we start why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club. With the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year so that's a really good deal and that will include anything that you buy with us today. Also why not create a free account? With a free account you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to share your sewing hobby and it's all completely free so why not go ahead and do that now. Now before we begin making our trousers, you want to take your pattern and a tape measure and locate your sizing on the back. Now you want to measure yourself and check yourself with the sizing here. Don't just go for a standard dress size and also patterns uh, between each other can vary. So they're not always the same. So it's always good to measure yourself before you begin sewing. That way you'll always get a perfect fit. So check your sizing corresponds with the sizing here. And then we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces. Now remember we're cutting for version B. But if you want to make any of the other versions, you can sew right along with us, but remember to stop at the appropriate points. Let's go and cut our pattern pieces now. So here are our pieces for our trousers. This is your front piece for versions A, B and C. You're going to cut two pieces. This is your straight grain. Make a note of the notches, the circles, the pleats. This all depends on which version you're making. Notches here. Lengthen or shorten at this point. And your cutting point for B is here. There is a 3.2 centimetre hem allowed. This is your back piece for versions A, B and C. Again you're going to cut two. This is your straight grain. This point here is your crotch line. Make a note of the notches, the circles and again your cutting point for whichever version you're making. Here we have our pocket pieces for versions A, B and C. This is your straight grain you're going to cut four, so it's two pairs, so make sure you cut them in pairs. So four pieces, make a note of the notches and the circles. This is your casing, you're going to cut one on the fold, here is the fold. Make a note of the notches and the circles, here and also here. And this is the waistband front. You're going to cut one and you're going to cut one in interfacing. Make a note of the notches, the circles 
and this broken line here is the front point. Now we're ready to begin making our trousers. So first of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your spool. Also check your machine needle. So I'm using a universal standard needle today, size 70. This fabric is light to medium weight. If you're uncertain, just test uh, your needle on a piece of scrap fabric before you begin. When you've done this, we're going to take the front legs of our trousers and we're going to make our pleats. So you have your markings for your pleats and what you're going to do is bring in right sides together, you're going to bring those markings together and you're going to stitch down the broken line. Now it extends down roughly four centimetres. So you're going to do this on each pleat, first of all. Here's your next one. you've done that you can press these now what you're going to do is you're going to press them away from each other like this so have one going one way and one going the other so press those down when you've completed them now you're going to stitch a front leg to a back leg at the inner leg seam so place them right sides facing match your notch here at the inner leg And pin it all the way down because it may move around if you don't pin it so it's always best to pin it and this saves on any unpicking later on and you can finish your seams with either a zigzag or an overlock once you've done this and press it out So it's a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Attach your legs at the inner seam. So you've got your front and back leg joined here and here. Bring the centre seam together like this and open them up. Pin it in place. Then you have the scoop. Match the notches. So you have your notches here. And at the other side, two notches and two notches. So make sure that they're matched up nicely. Pin it all the way around and then we're going to stitch this with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. <laughs> Seam. Apply your pockets front and back. So you want to place them right sides facing right sides, matching the notch here, and we're going to stitch from the marking here down to here. I'm going to do that on all four pockets. Then we're going to press it outwards towards the pocket. So you have your marking there. Here's your notch.
And when you've done that, you're going to press it so the seam's pressed outwards. And then we're going to understitch down there. So I'll show you before I press it. So. Seam going towards the pocket. Just a few millimetres on the inside. Do that on all four pockets. Bring the right side of your trouser legs together and you're going to pin at the top here above your, your circle. So you had your circle here where you started your pocket. You're going to stitch from the top to here and back tack. Then you're going to skip over this area here where you've just attached your pockets. And from the circle downwards, we're going to stitch down our outer leg seam with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Now pin it again first, but remember to skip over this area here where you've attached your pockets. Back tack at the top of your pocket. Carry on below it, just there. So around the outer edge of your pocket pieces now. When you've done this, you can also zigzag or overlock away the excess. Bring it up to here where it meets the trousers. Apply your interfacing to your front waistband, then you're going to attach your front waistband to your waistband casing at both sides. So matching your notches here. Stitch this side and this side. Make sure you leave a small opening each side between your two small circles for your elastic to pass through. You may want to base down each side of your stitching just to keep this from moving around when you're inserting your elastic because it can get caught in these seams sometimes. So I've just done mine with machine stitches and then after they can quickly be unpicked. So these are the openings where your elastic will pass through. Now you're going to fold this in half lengthways, baste it together at this point and we're going to attach it to our waistband. Pin your waistband to the top of your trousers matching the notches all the way around the centre point and the back centre point. Stitch this in place. When you've done this you can overlock or zigzag off your excess fabric. Measure a piece of elastic that comfortably fits your waist. Alternatively, you can use the elastic guide on your pattern sheet. I prefer to measure it around my waist. When you've done this, you're going to thread it through your opening. So attach something to one end, a safety pin or a bodkin, and you're going to thread it through. Now, because you have this flat piece at the front, Try on your trousers once you've threaded your elastic through and adjust it so that it fits perfectly. So you'll need to pull it through on one side until it fits just right, even out your gathers and then you can stitch this in position both sides and close up your holes. When you've closed the holes on the front of your waistband, try on your trousers and decide on your desired length. But on me, because I'm only five foot four, they are falling right to the ankle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, 
overlock off this edge here and just do a tiny hem because I like where they are sitting at the moment. So try them on and see what's your desired length. I mean, you might like them three quarters, which if you were taller, they would fall more of a sort of um, ankle skimming length. So it, it entirely depends how tall you are and what your personal preference is. So I'm going to do a tiny hem, overlock this off, and I'm going to do that now. Here are the trousers. I really like the shape of the wide leg. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below. We always love to see what you've been making. Also, you can ask any questions in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well, that's all for today, but I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.